Prom comes from the word promenade. And you can't promenade without an outfit that really makes you feel like an absolute star. We know there's anxiety that comes with finding the perfect dress or the perfect suit. So why not turn heads with something totally unique, something created by you? And that's exactly what Mary Grace does. She is a senior at Sewickley Academy and makes dresses from materials that you can find just about anywhere. First off, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This is so impressive. Yes. Like, I want to talk about this dress first. Yeah. This is made out of newspaper. Yes. So this dress was initially for an English project that I had for school, and you kind of had to do a multimodal project about a difficult topic. So I chose ocean pollution. So I took plastic bags from a donation bin outside of Giant Eagle in uh -huh. Leedsdale and I made a train out of plastic bags and tape and then all the newspaper all over it is articles about ocean pollution, how it can be avoided and the real problems behind it. Did you get an A? I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that because otherwise, yeah, yes. Otherwise. I know. And I think, gosh, this one speaks to so many of us, oh. right? Yeah, we recognize these. <laughs> oh, I know, all too well, all too well. So this one is made out of 100% recycled face masks. So last year at school, we were still masked up. We had to wear a mask for classes and basically all the time except for lunch. Um, and after school, I would always just see people throwing them straight into the trash. So I set up a box outside of the door where people could just put them in there instead. Um, and then I eventually just made a dress out of it. So you can see, if you like look on the inside, there's like makeup all over them. It's pretty gruesome, but definitely recycled. <laughs> okay. Well, but you know, also it, it just brings us back to where we were. And even yes. your outfit right now, you made this last night. I did, yes. <laughs> so this is something called a thrift flip. Um, it's very sustainable. You can go thrifting for any materials. I try to go for something that has a lot of fabric on it. So this would be an example. Yes, this is what this shirt looked like last night. It was okay. a dress shirt initially. Um, and then I brought a couple patterns. Um, sewing's a lot easier than people think it is. Um, well, so you for just, talented people. Yes, <laughs> right, I was gonna say. <laughs> so I cut fabric using this and then just got to sewing. Wow. How did you get started even doing this? Like, do you, are you from a family of sewers? Yes. Are you inspired by Project Runway? Oh, I love Project Runway. <laughs> well, they always have the unconventional challenge, I right? Know, right? This would I be know. so perfect. Um, my family has always nurtured me in a very creative way, so I'm very blessed. Um, but especially like since I was very young, I always saw trash as something you can make something out of. When I was really young, I actually made a prom dress out of toilet paper and it really upset my mom because I used all the toilet paper in the house. <laughs> but I just think it's something that's so fun and especially making something that's your own and the reward that comes with like saying you made it when people ask where you got it is huge. And yeah. I want to share this with everybody because you're off to big things. Where are you going after you graduate? I'm going to SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design for Fashion design, of course. Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic. Thank you. I'm so glad Thank that you're you. following your dream because you are truly so talented. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for being with us. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And for more <laughs> on you. what's coming up next for Mary Grace, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. And we'll be right back with a check on our local forecast. We hope you are enjoying our PTL prom. We'll be right back.